welcome back to the Snoop and Sniffy Show. Today's episode is very unusual, junior detectives. In fact, you could say it's puzzling. You see, mysterious puzzles popped up all over Pflugerville overnight, and Sniffy and I are understandably intrigued. Who put all these puzzles around town? How do we solve them? The mystery is definitely afoot, but fortunately, I'm well prepared. I love puzzles. Are you ready to tackle today's case with me, Sniffy? Oh, oh, me, me, I am. I'm ready to solve some puzzles. Always eager, my dog detective partner, Sniffy. (laughs) Eager and ready to smell anything. That's the spirit, Sniffy. Now, shall we go take a stroll in the park and see what these mysterious puzzles are all about? Yes, Snoop, I think we shall. Another glorious day here on Bark Street. Smells glorious, too. Grass and mud and dirt and doggy bones and... Is that a donut? A donut? I prefer scones. Oh, it's not a donut. It was just that passing by woman's perfume. Boo! I empathize with your disappointment, Sniffy. Nothing worse than thinking you smell a donut, only for it not to be a donut, and instead some woman's sweet smelling perfume. But, alas, here we are at a puzzle. Uh, Snoop, I've never seen a puzzle like this before. Are you sure this is a puzzle? Hmm, I haven't either. It certainly is interesting looking. A puzzle atop a box of some sort. How do we open it? Hmm, good question. There is no keyhole. No handle. Ah, a perfectly complex locked box mystery. Oh, I wonder what's in the box. Maybe I can open it. Ah! Don't try and open it. You'll get zapped. Oh, what a pleasant song. That was nice. Interesting indeed. I haven't tried sniffing it yet. Maybe I can sniff out what's inside. I got too close again. Hmm. A musical note of sorts. A complex puzzle indeed, with buttons appearing for a moment. Snoop, you look like the wheels are turning in your head. Which I know is weird because there definitely aren't wheels in your head. Unless... (gasps) Are there? A wonderful idea, Sniffy. Huh? You mentioning Wheeler, of course. Wheeler. Right. Right. Yes, he must have an idea of what this could be. Before we attempt to solve this further, let us go over to his gadget shack and ask for his advice. Good idea. Wheeler will know what to do. And ooh, maybe he'll let me borrow the jetpack today. Doubtful, but I admire your optimism. Let's go. What do you think this puzzle could be, Snoop? Hmm, if I have to guess, it has something to do with the musical notes that played. Perhaps we need to create a sequence. Here we are at Wheels. That's still the code? He should probably change it. 5678 is all of my passwords too, and also how I start all dance parties. Should we start a dance party right now? Not right now, Sniffy. Ah, it's always a good time for a dance party, though. Wheeler, where are you? We have the same passcodes. Five, six, seven, eight, dance. There he is. A fine inventor and chihuahua, but also quite clumsy. That's our Wheeler. Ah, Snoop, Sniffy, didn't hear you come in. What gadgets will you be needing today? Jetpack. Actually, we come here in need of a different kind of assistance. Odd puzzles have been found around the park in Pflugerville. Ah, what kind of puzzles? If you can call them that. They're hard to describe. Boxes attached to screens that have different patterns, colours, symbols and sounds attached to them. But we're having trouble figuring them out. Yeah, I was that. Not once, but twice. And then the box let out these musical notes. Huh, I see. Any idea what these could be? Of course I know what they are. You You do? do? Yes. They are Code Spark puzzles. What is Code Spark? Code Spark is a coding app to help junior detectives learn how to code. How to code? Oh, cool. What's coding? Uh, 
Coding is the process of writing instructions for computers to follow in order to make them do specific tasks. Ah, I see. Very clever. I don't get it. It's a type of high-tech puzzle where each piece or button has a specific function. Exactly. These coding puzzles come in all sorts of different fun types. There's colors and shapes, symbols, patterns, and looks like the one you found is, uh, sounds. Oh, I hope there's a smell one. How cool. These types of puzzles are right up my alley. Yeah, coding is a wonderful tool for dog detectives. In fact, I use it quite often when programming all my different gadgets. It's how I make my inventions work, you know? Each piece of the puzzle works to make another piece function. I love that. A team of different functions working together to create something bigger than the parts. I still don't know what's going on, but, like, do you think there's going to be a puzzle that has to do with smell? Because I want to smell one. I'm sure there is. So, do you need me to come solve this puzzle with you? No, I understand the concept now. Thank you for your insight, Wheeler. Sniffy, back to the puzzle. We're going to solve it and find out what's in that box. I hope it's a donut. Code Spark sounds like the perfect detective skill to learn. I've always been a dog of logic, reasoning and deduction. But I must admit, I haven't been the most high-tech of dogs. I prefer old school methods. But coding sounds right up my dog alley. A puzzle of symbols and functions and sounds. What fun! When we come back from this short break, Sniffy and I are going to solve some puzzles using coding. You don't want to miss it. Come right back. Welcome back to this puzzling episode of the Snoop and Sniffy Show. Thanks to our good pal Wheeler, Sniffy and I are now aware of Code Spark, which is a fun new way to learn about coding. Coding is like solving puzzles, but on a computer, using different shapes, symbols, colors, sounds, and in our case, maybe even smells, to create functions and get a program to do something. It sounds complicated, but once you get the hang of it, coding is actually a lot of fun. Ready to solve our first puzzle? I am! I can't wait to be a coding genius! Let me touch it again! I need to stop doing that! <laughs> well, maybe not. Now, let's see. So this box has no keyhole nor handle, but every time you touch it and get zapped, musical tones play. Perhaps this box needs a special music sequence to open. That makes sense. So, I think in order to activate this code, we need to touch it and program the right sequence of notes. But how will we figure out the sequence? Let's see. I'll give it a whirl. I'm correct. Yes, look. Buttons appeared after touching it. This puzzle uses sound recognition, see? Each tone represents a step in a pattern. We need to replicate the sequence using these buttons. Buttons? I'm great with buttons. Uh, wait, what button do I press first, though? Let's think logically. The sequence starts with a high tone, so we press the button labeled high. Then we look for the next tone in the series and match it. It's called sequencing. Okay, Snoop Coding King. <laughs> I just pick up on things quickly. Now, Sniffy, let's begin. You call out the tones and I'll press the buttons. Got it. First tone. That's high. Button one, high tone, pressed. What's next? Next is... That's a high, followed by a medium. We're getting somewhere. Last tone? That's low, followed by a medium. Well done, Sniffy. That's coding in action. Identifying a pattern, breaking it into steps, and executing them one by one. Whoa, I just coded a box open. Does this mean I'm a programmer now? A dog detective and a programmer. Now, let's see what's in the box. A cat's whisker? And not just any cat's whisker. I'd recognize that whisker anywhere. That belongs to Professor Mittens. 
Professor Mittens, your nemesis. She's behind these Code Spark puzzles? Looks like she took up coding too. I don't blame her. These Code Spark puzzles are so fun. But if she thinks she's going to best Snoop and Sniffy, she's wrong. Like usual. Now, to the next puzzle. I saw one attached to the park's fountain. Ooh, you're right. There's another code box. This one is different. It's multicolored, covered in blue, yellow, green, and red boxes. It looks like a maze. Indeed. We need to get that key from one side of the box to the other. But how? All those colored blocks are in the way. Perhaps by hitting the buttons. Let's see. I'll hit the blue button first. When you hit the blue button, all the red blocks disappeared. Indeed, they did. Hmm. Let's see what each button does. Ah, OK. Remember this, Sniffy. Pressing the blue buttons removes the red blocks. Pressing the red buttons removes the green. The green removes the yellow blocks, and the yellow removes the blue. Uh, <laughs> I think I remember. OK, so looks like each colour button was programmed with a different function to remove blocks. So let's press the green button, since yellow blocks are in our way first. And now I can move the key forward. Oh, I see. Now there are red blocks in our way. Press the blue button. We're doing it! Dog detectives and programmers. It would be cool to create and program my own coding puzzles, too. I bet you can make them even better than Professor Mitten's puzzles. <laughs> my puzzles would be quite complicated, I fear. But that's the way I like it. I'm going to look into this CodeSpark app. The possibilities for logic puzzles are endless. We almost have the key out. There, we did it! Wonder what's in this box. By Jove, she's done it again. Is this her claw? You know how cats love to scratch things. I never get why cats scratch up perfectly good couches. Why? Never mind that now. Let's go to this last puzzle. It's over by the willow tree. Sniffy, as the top-notch dog detective here in Pflugerville, it might shock you to hear this, but I think coding is now my favourite hobby. <gasps> Even more than napping and eating scones? It very well could be. Now, the last code box. What could this be? Maybe if I click it. <laughs> ah! Snoop, oh no! Turning on the code box made the cage fall from the tree. And now you're trapped. That I am. Just where I wanted him. <laughs> Having fun with my code spark puzzles, are we? <gasps> Professor Mittens. Actually, yes, I am having fun. Well, I found the coding first, so don't think you can best me at it. But that's what I always do, best you. Oh, not this time, Snoop. You're trapped in that cage. Only your so-called new partner can get you out. Let's see him figure out this sequence. You can do it, Sniffy. Mm. Uh, I guess. This one looks complicated. Lots of things going on. All sorts of symbols. Buttons of stones and trees and crossed knives. And then rows of these symbols repeating. Stones? Trees? Crossed knives? Yeah, that's what I said. What else could those be? Don't they seem familiar? <gasps> be quiet. No helping. Hmm, well, I guess these stones could be rocks. Yes, and? These crossed knives are actually scissors. Huh, I don't know why I said crossed knives. <laughs> That's not actually a thing. Weird. Right. And trees. Hmm, trees make paper. That's it. Rock, paper, scissors. You've got it. OK, sure, but let's see him use my parameters to actually get the sequence. Um... Think about it, Sniffy. I, uh, yeah, OK. So, rock beats scissors. Uh, scissors cut paper. Paper covers rock. 
Okay, I just have to hit each button when I cross the symbol on the screen. You're doing it, Sniffy. And I'm not even using my greatest asset, my nose. Ugh. I'm free. Well done, my lad. I'm a coding genius. I want to make my own coding puzzles, too. I thought I could best you two with my coding puzzles. But you cut on so quickly. That's how easy it is. Ugh, whatever. Maybe I'll use my coding skills to hack into the dog detective agency computers. What was that? Oh, nothing, nothing. I said nothing. Uh, until next time. <laughs> I wish there were some more code spark puzzles we could do. That was so fun, Snoop. I feel so intelligent like and stuff. <laughs> You're a smart dog, Sniffy. Be proud of your coding skills. But with that, all the puzzles on Bark Street have been solved. So now we must end our episode and begin our coding careers. Today's case was a ton of fun. Don't you agree? Junior detectives, Sniffy and I count on you in the field and coding is an incredible tool for every sleuth. You can learn how to code just like Sniffy and I did today by heading over to gokidgo.com forward slash CodeSpark. CodeSpark lets you solve puzzles and create your own programs just like Wheeler's Gadgets. Go check out this incredible resource from our friends at Begin Learning today at gokidgo.com front slash CodeSpark. And remember... Always be investigating. Woof woof. Go, kid, go. 